Mendel here and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite DIYs today. I'm gonna give this basket a bright and colorful makeover. I love bright colors and playful patterns and I love expressing my personality and my love for those things in both what I wear and the items that are in my home. So the first step is to pick a color for the base of your basket. This really brings in that bold, solid color to anchor your basket, anchor your DIY. So make sure you pick a color that you absolutely love. I always had kind of a unique style and it was hard to find things that I loved by, so I decided to make them myself. And it allowed me to add my own personality into everything and kind of make something that was totally unique to me. If I visit a museum and I see a really beautiful art piece that has some great use of color or pattern in it, I love to take inspiration from that and pull it into something I'm doing at home. Next, you need to decide on a pattern that you love to add to your basket. I don't know about you guys, but do you remember making those like macaroni necklaces in preschool and painting them and your parents had to pretend that they really liked it? Well, this is kind of the fun updated version of this where it still inspires you, makes you think of those fonder days, but you can actually have this in your home and really love it. In this color palette, I actually thought of this because I had put together an outfit. I got these new amazing bright pink shoes and I didn't know what to wear it with. And I found that a blue worked really well. So you're gonna let your first coat dry on your pattern and then you're gonna go back in and add a second coat to really make that color bright and really pop. Since storage baskets are used and tossed around all over your house, you want to make sure that paint is on there really well. So you're going to take some decoupage glue to seal it on. It acts as a nice sealant, but it's still matte, so you have that basket look. But all your paint will be safely and securely on there, and it won't chip. I have been crafting my whole life, and I think crafting is a lot about trial and error. It's great when you're just trying it out, and you can use different things like drawing on the pattern to really help you along the way. Let that first coat dry, and then go back in and add a second coat of the decoupage glue to really finish it off and set it in there. Once that coat is dry, you're ready to go, and you can use your basket in your home. It really feels like a great little pop of pattern and it's useful too. So I hope you guys try it at home and maybe try your own fun color combination with it. And I can't wait to see what yours look like. Bye guys!